What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So this is going to be my second attempt at showing you how to install Compiz in XFCE or in Manjaro Linux. So I've poured myself a nice cup of coffee and hopefully we don't have any um, recording issues like we did the last time. Not sure what happened there. I'm pretty um, certain that it had something to do with a setting I had in my nvidia.conf.conf file um, and I've since then tweaked that, fixed it. Uh, I recorded a, a video last night on the GNOME 3.8 release announcement and that went very smooth so I figure you know we're gonna give this a, a go again today. So we're gonna be showing you today how to install Compiz within um, Arch Linux or Manjaro Linux. So there's a really nice write-up on the Manjaro wiki. All right, so we're going to open up another terminal window here. Okay, let's get all squared away. So to get this done, um, there's going to be some a couple of steps. It's uh, honestly it's a lot easier than you may think. Um, when we come up to the fusion icon and we go to uh, Window Manager, you're going to see there's two options, Compiz and XFWM4. The XFWM4 is what XFCE uses by default. Now, you know, if you want some basic compositing, um, you know, window snapping, um, some basic compositing, compositing features, and you want something really lightweight, really fast, and you don't care about eye candy, I highly recommend just using that window manager because it is re really, really fast. If system resources are a concern, if you don't have a very good graphics card, uh, you don't want to put a lot of load on your system, especially if you have integrated graphics, you don't want to tax um, the CPU highly, then I would say stick with that. It's going to give you basic compositing and um, you're going to have access to things like workspaces and window snapping and um, some basic eye candy but nothing crazy so just stick with that however if you have a higher end system a dedicated graphics card access to some more RAM um, you may want to install something like Compiz in my particular uh, system here I've got a core i7 CPU it's a quad core with um, uh, you know basically four physical cores and four virtual cores so it's got hyper threading so the the system recognizes it as an eight core system 3.4 uh, gigahertz scales all the way up to 3.7 gigahertz um, 16 gigs of RAM I just recently upgraded my graphics card to an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 with 2 gigabytes of uh, GDDR5 RAM um, pretty pretty uh, mid-range graphics card but plenty powerful enough to handle anything that I need I have a separate video on that if you're interested so Compass to me is probably one of the most productive window managers that's out there right now. The uh, amount of plugins that you can get for it are almost endless. Some people would argue that it's a dead project, although with you got to remember Ubuntu is using Compiz to, um, you know, Unity is essentially a Compiz plugin. So, you know, you've got to remember that. As long as Ubuntu is going to be touting their Unity interface, unless they completely rewrite something from scratch, they're going to be using Compiz for a while. So even though the Compiz main developer has, has kind of left the project, Ubuntu is still developing it. In fact, you know, there's some recent uh, articles that I read that they're actually adding some new things to Compiz and enhancing it. So, you know, you may argue that it's a dead project. However, as long as Ubuntu is using the Unity plugin in Compiz, I think that it's going to be around... Uh, it's going to be live and well for a while. So we're going to show you guys how to install it today. It's actually very, very simple. The tricky part of this whole thing is going to be configuring um, Compass. So installing it's very easy. So I'm going to include the, uh, the link to the wiki page for Manjaro in the video description below. Now, we're going to need to install not only Compass, but we need to install a um, something to be to be able to um, handle our window decorations so that's what emeralds for so to install both Compiz, uh, fusion and emerald you're just gonna take all of these packages you're gonna copy and paste it into a into your terminal window you're gonna hit enter and install everything okay so once that's done and you've installed everything what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to 
first things first, you're going to want to come into the Emerald Theme Manager. Okay. Once you open up the Emerald Theme Manager, what you're going to do is in the search uh, title or, you know, page down through all the different themes and find the one that you want to use. My particular one is Graybird. Now, I have installed Graybird um, already on my system prior to installing Compass. So all I did was select uh, Graybird, okay, and then just hit quit. After that, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to your Fusion, or I'm sorry, your uh, system, and then you're going to select Compass Fusion icon. Okay, that's going to load. Once that loads, you're going to lose your window borders. Everything's going to freak out a little bit. Don't worry. That's okay. Come over to your icon. So go to Window Manager. Make sure it's selected Comp is. Okay. Make sure Window Decorator is set to Emerald. All right. After that, you're going to go into your settings and then come over to Comp is uh, Config Settings Manager. All right. Now, just as the wiki indicates, when you scroll down right here, it says, um, before enabling Compass Fusion, Fusion you must um, go to the Window Management section of Compass Settings Manager and enable, and it's going to list these next uh, few features. Move Window, Resize Window, and Place Window. All right, so if you come to the, the filter and just type in Move, you're going to select Move Window. Type, type in Place, you're going to select Place Window. And then finally resize, you're going to select resize window. And then one thing it doesn't mention, and you do have to select this. If you type in uh, decoration, or start to anyway, it's going to pull up window decora decoration. Make sure that's enabled. Okay. Once you do that, all right, it's going to be able to load compass. And you're going to get all your window borders back and um, so on. Now, wobbly windows will not be um, active and enabled by default okay you're going to get your basic window manager features so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place a link in the video description below to my particular uh setup my my comp is profile it's a dot profile so download it um, and then to load my particular comp is profile if you want to have all of these things done automatically for you instead of going in and having to manually select all the features I just described. Plus, you're going to get some additional options. Like, for instance, if uh, I set up a hot corner, okay, over here in the right corner um, for like an expose effect. In my left corner, I set up for my workspaces, which I have set up for workspaces. I think that looks great. Also, when you hit um, super key and tab, I have it set up for the ring switcher, which I think looks awesome. Okay. Um, and then of course I have your wobbly windows all set up and I have some uh, open and close animations set up as well, which I think look really good. So if you want all of the features that we just went through um, set up for you automatically, just download using the link in the description, my dot profile for comp is. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come back into your settings, open comp is config settings manager, come down to preferences, you're going to select import, all right? Go to the directory that you saved my dot profile and just select it. Import it, okay? Once you import it, all of the features that are necessary to get comp is up and running within XFCE will then be automatically selected for you, so you don't have to do it. The only thing you may have to go uh, and change is under general options, go to display settings. Um, outputs, you may have to change this to whatever your screen resolution is. You simply do that by hitting edit and then typing in your screen resolution. Mine's 1920 by 1080. Change it to whatever you need it to be changed to. Um, you could probably leave the refresh rate set at 120 hertz. That's probably not going to hurt anything. Uh, and the rest is history. It's, it's Everything's going to be set up for you. Um, the desktop cube won't be set up. I just don't use the cube for me. I like having my workspaces just set up with a hot corner and I like them set up in this nice grid um, format here. So, you know, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, once, once you get that dot profile loaded, you're pretty much good to go. And there's one last thing we have to do. <clears throat> if you open up the settings manager, we need to make sure that Compass is started every time your computer reboots. You're going to just go to your application auto start. Okay, you're going to click the add button and you're going to type in fusion dash icon under the name. And then all you need to do is 
paste that under the description if you want. And then the command is also fusion-icon. Well, I already have that, so we're not going to do it. Where's mine? There it is. So that will enable Compass to start every time your desktop restarts. So Compass will load. And that's it, guys. Um, after that, you have access to all of the Compass plugins, all the eye candy, and more importantly than eye candy for me is how nice... Um, you know how how nice it makes your desktop in terms of productivity you know this is the best implementation of workspaces in my opinion gnome shell does an okay job with it um but i really like using workspaces in this manner here uh, as well as you know the different options you get for you know like all tab options that is is pretty great um i just really like comp is and i hope that it's a project that continues to be developed and and uh, push forward in the future, especially with uh, XFCE 4.12 coming out in the near future, hopefully. I know there's really no um, release date. It was supposed to be released in March, but it's uh, been delayed. Um, GTK3 support's coming for that, and a lot of other good things. So, you know, as of right now, um, I really enjoy um, XFCE. If <clears throat> Now, I know in Arch, you can install quite a bit of the elementary OS um, parts. Um, if I can, and I may toy around with that, if I can basically get an elementary OS desktop environment set up within Arch and have it be fully functional, um, I may actually do that. I would, I would love an elementary OS um, desktop environment on top of Arch Linux so I can constantly, you know, have an up-to-date um, uh, set of packages and um, run a desktop environment that I like um, quite a bit, and I really like what Elementary OS is doing. But up until uh, up until then, I'm going to continue to run XFCE. It's still my favorite desktop environment so far, um, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully, this video helped you guys out, and uh, hopefully, we don't have any more recording issues like I did last time. Um, so I'm going to take the old video down. Or I, you know, I may leave it up. I don't know, but I'll re-upload this one. And um, until next time, guys, uh, we'll see you later. If you load my dot profile for comp is and everything works out really great, just give me some feedback. Let me know that you imported my profile and it automatically set up all the settings for you and you're good to know. I want to make sure that that works out. So, okay, guys, that's it for this time. We'll see you next time.